Hi, everyone, and welcome to the big house. This massive crowd assembled here today to cheer on the Wolverines, already chanting, Go Blue! Today, we have a top 25 matchup on hand, two of college football's premier teams preparing to battle against one another. As we'll see the number 25 team in the country, the USC Trojans, taking on the ninth-ranked team, the Michigan Wolverines. Bouye Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Wolverines will kick it away to get this game going. And he takes this from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. So USC's offense going to get the chance to start this game off. And here comes one of the elite running backs in all of college football. When he gets the ball in his hands, it's just hold your breath time, Kirk. He's been electrifying. He sure is. The embodiment of a superstar. The bona fide runner with ill intentions for the defense. This offense leans on him, and there aren't very many times that he doesn't come through for him. They're just trying to establish the run. There's not much there, but give credit to that defensive line and those linebackers attacking the line of scrimmage to negate any chance at all. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Dropping back, it's Moss. On the junior, gets home, making a sack there. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with the first sack of the game. And the Trojans will send their punt team onto the field. He'll call for the fair catch here. So Michigan's offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk. But what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down play coming up for this offense. Running back with the football. Getting close to midfield now. They bring it down to the 47. Well, I feel like they called that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. One of those critical third down plays coming up. And they pick up the first on the ground. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches to go. And the Wolverines will send the punt team onto the field. And the coverage team downs the ball right there. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? The shotgun running play call. That's a safety for the defense. Well, that's how you get a game started by this defense. What a way to score here early. We'll just have to see if these two points make much of a difference if this game ends up coming down to the wire. team out there to boot it away after giving up the safety. Oh. 
Offense back out there trying to get something going. Play action here on first down. Close to the tight end. It's caught downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Boy, Chris, you watch a completion like that, and with the efficiency, it makes you kind of think back to all the quarterbacks and receivers that they've had who made it look this easy. Of course, you start with Tom Brady, but think of the year Brian Greasy had, 1997, that national championship year. Chad Henney going back to Elvis Kerback and all the great receivers. So this is within their history, and it's good that they're leaning on it. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. After the incompletion, they'll have to try to convert here on third and nine. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. There's no one to throw to there on third down, and now it's a fourth down coming up. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Coach elects to try for three points and sends out the field goal unit. And the field goal is good. Chris, my man, I don't think anybody could have predicted a start to a game like this with such a bizarre score. The good news is, on the other side, even though you're down 5 to nothing, you've had the safety, the offense is struggling. Hey, if you get a touchdown, you're leading this thing, 7-5. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. They'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the USC offense is back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back. The last time out there, they surrender to safety. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Throws it to the right. Finds a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. Nice play action call here by this offensive coordinator. You know, you can freeze those linebackers just for a split second. Usually that's going to give you enough room to be able to get that tight end behind them. And if the quarterback can make a nice tight throw like this, pick up some big yards. And the Trojans pick up enough yardage for a first down. Now, I love how the back didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it was third down in inches, lower the shoulder, get the first down. And the Trojans come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Handoff here from the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill curve. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order on this play. Quick throw to the left side. 
That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down, and they move the sticks. Instead, we've now got fourth down. And the Trojans will bring their punt team on the field now. We're going to kick it away for the second time. The returner is brought down. Gets a start on the next drive. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. Had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. Gets made on the out route. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain in that play. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. Offense getting set. Second down play here. On the ground, it's Edwards. Tackled, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka and Tyrone Wheatley and Leroy Horde. Man, so many good backs have come through Ann Arbor. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Toss play, running right. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. I know the toss play begins with a guy taking a snap. He turns around, he flips it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, is can they set the edge as an offense? Whether it's an offensive tackle, a tight end in that same direction, the where they want to run the ball. Because if they can do that, you get the result that you want just like this. If you don't, oftentimes, the play is blown up right at the line of scrimmage. Tackled at the 33, that's good enough for a first down. Nice first down run here by this running back. And these are the kind of situations on third and short that you can gain a lot of momentum or it can kill a drive and kill the confidence of an offense. Here they pick up the nice first down, which is great. New set of downs. But it also gives you a lot of confidence that you can wear that defense down psychologically. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. And he'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. Game-breaking speed for the running back to reach the end zone. That is just priceless for an offense. Chris, that back was able to find that crease in the defense. Let's give credit to the big fellas up front for creating that crease. They all played a key role in that score. Kicking team on now for the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fielded in the end zone. It's Branch. Will be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. The last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game. Held them just to two yards. Chris, to me, he's changing the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. It's a draw play. It runs right over the defender. Defense will make the stop of what will probably be the final play of this opening quarter. So Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. They jumped out to an early lead in that opening period. Let's take a quick look at the stats so far. And 
as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. To throw, it's Moss. Slags a quick throw. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. And the Trojans will line up on first and ten. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Give it to the back again. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. That's a first down for USC's offense. Nice job up front and an outstanding run here by this running back. What great tradition that USC has at running the football and having great backs. And it's beautiful to see another good one here today. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. They're going to run it here. The running back has been busy today, but not much to show for it. The defense all over him again. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. They'll run it from the gun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. On third down, he drops to throw. Let's it fly to the wide out. Works downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. If I'm this defense, you get these guys to third down, you better bracket or double team some kind of coverage roll to this receiver to take him away. This guy makes another big play. And the Trojans hustle to the line to run the hurry up. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Back to throw. It's Moss. Quick throw to the left side. And he's got it. Four set of bounds after a nice game. The offense is knocking on the door with a first and goal. Boy, they do a great job here on play action. The linebackers were completely fooled. Two or three steps up into the line of scrimmage, opened up a nice lane behind the backers, between the safeties, for the quarterback to make the read and a good throw downfield. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. They finally corral him at the one. You know, the real estate gets tight inside the 10-yard line. You love a play caller who has the ability to either run it or throw it. That puts so much pressure on that defensive coordinator to know how to line up. It's not just a one-dimensional attack he's dealing with. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. They continue to feed the running back, but he has had nowhere to go today. They've been getting owned at the line of scrimmage. What a job at the line of scrimmage by this defense. Looked like a no-brainer. Second and short, easy first down. No. Denied. Stop. Bring up third down. And this big crowd doing everything possible to inspire this deep. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, SC. So they reach the end zone after a marathon march. How about the execution on that drive, Kirk? Well, I know a lot of times people get excited for the big plays. They're fun to watch. But what's impressive to me is an offense that can put together a long drive and then finally cap it off with a touchdown. 
That way you don't have to always rely on the big plays. That's a great try. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Now they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. On that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the ground game. Let's see if that formula works again. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. With a defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll run it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Let's it go quickly. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. Well, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. The Wolverines bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Running it back, it's Branch. And they've got the returner corralled. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Important second down play coming up. Keeping it on the ground here. And that's a solid gain before the defense is able to bring him down. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Third down coming up after that running play. It's a draw to the back. This offense picks up the first down. They tackle him at the 44. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. And the Trojans have first and 10 here. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness for getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. So we reach the two-minute warning as this offense tries to take the lead here before halftime. Here's the second down play. Looking to pass. It's Moss. Good throw to the left. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Chris, when that quarterback threw that football, I didn't think that play had much of a chance. How about the effort by this wide receiver to lay out and come up with that completion for positive yards? First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? From the gun, he looks for an open man. The ball is caught. And he's tackled after the catch. 
Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Catch made by the tight end. Stock right there at the line. No game. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. So the offense faces third and short from the plus 26. Might be four down territory, but let's see what the call is here. And he finds his tight end for the catch. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. I mean, we're not even to halftime yet, and I don't think this guy wants to take a break once we get to the half. That's his fifth catch and counting. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Makes a quick grab. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Well, this is the risk you take when you play man-to-man -man coverage and you leave a linebacker on a running back. The quarterback does a nice job of seeing that mismatch and getting the ball to the back for some good yards. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Oh, he can't hang on. What an opportunity to score there. Instead, incomplete and third down. Chris, not only really good coverage here by the defense, but I love their awareness. That ball is in the air, headed to the end zone, and the ball is separated from the receiver with the contact. Looking downfield, it's Moss. Caught near the goal line. They stop him at the four, but it sets up this offense with a first and goal. And the offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First and goal, an opportunity to take the lead before halftime. Send the back in motion. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. And he scores! Touchdown, USC! See if they can convert the point after. Extra point makes it a two-point lead. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime with the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. They will return it from inside the 10-yard line. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. So here comes the first play of the drive. Can they do something in the final 30 seconds of the half? There's the handoff. Breaking free at the 35. Finally marked out after a big game, but hold on. There's a penalty marker on the field. Let's check this out. Costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage yet. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Ann Arbor. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. It's time to throw it back to our guys in the booth to start up the second half. And the Trojans will kick this away to start the second half. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. 
First play of the second half is a handoff. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. Here comes a handoff. Breaking free at the 35. Tackle made after a big game. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. The offense really clicking against this embattled defense. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. It's a one-yard game, second and nine coming up. And switches it up here looking to throw the ball now looking for his big tight end looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver they bring him down but an explosive play by this offense big game it's a great play for the offense but let's give all the credit to the offensive line for that play the quarterback makes the throw they couldn't have done it without the time that they provided the wolverines offense is on the move now Ball handed off. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Offense showing a bunch formation now. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. And you'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That's exactly how you want to defend the option. You know, the old school way is assignment football. You have to an account for the quarterback, the pitch man. Here, the quarterback had really nothing other than just kind of lower his head and get as much as he could. Fortunately for the defense, it wasn't very much. To the air, it's Warren. Quick throw to his receiver, but they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. He made good on his last attempt, but this one is from 45 yards out. Right down the middle. And they've reclaimed the lead with that. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the USC offense is back out on the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. He shreds the tackle. Game moves the ball out past the 25-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. And he finds the running back in the flat. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. And the offensive line does everything they can to try to protect the quarterback, to give him enough time to find an open receiver. But there's nobody there downfield. He ends it up throwing it to the back. But how about the speed of this defense? Now, you're looking at a third down. To the air. It's Moss. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. They get him down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that in route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. 
The offense continuing to build momentum. It's first and ten. And here's the handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle, Kirk, showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. And now they run the draw play. Solid tackle, able to get him down. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it in correctly. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. Try and muscle for the first down. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, that's mano y mano right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back threw just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. And the Trojans begin a new series here, first and ten. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. And it's complete downfield. Tackles made quickly, but that's a big game. Ball moves to the 35-yard line. It's a nice throw and a great catch by this USC wide receiver to pick up a first down. And boy, oh boy, USC quarterbacks and receivers, efficiency and timing and speed and execution. Boy, they are putting it on display once again today. A handoff from the shotgun. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. I really like the throw here, Chris, but the fake off the play action was just as effective. You saw the second-level defenders freeze for a split second, and that helps open those passing windows. And the Trojans hustle to the line to run the hurry up. They'll hand it off. Zero running room stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Has caught. Can he get in? Brought down at the five after the completion. Defense getting pushed back. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards. I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Here we go. Third down, close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. Looking to throw. It's Moss. Launching one to the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. They'll take the lead in the second half. How in the world do you lose track of the reliable tight end on that play, Kirk? The only thing I can think about is the defense is so locked in on the wide receivers or maybe the running game that they just forgot about the tight end. The guy's wide open. That's an easy throw. The offense will go for a two-point conversion. They'll try to run this one in. And they'll run it into the end zone until they go up by a touchdown here. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it just outside the goal line. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. Last possession produced a field goal. No doubt they're thinking touchdown this time. 
Looking for some space. It's Edwards. We're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. Again, makes it second and medium. Quick throw by the quarterback off the RPO. Defense makes the stop after the completion. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit with swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Dropping back. It's Warren. He's running out of time here. Short pass finds the tight end. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. And it's been an old-school ground game duel. These running backs have been putting on a show so far today. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. You got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Looking to throw yet again. And this time, it's complete. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Crucial third down play coming up. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Running back grabs it on the screen. And they pick up the first out of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. The offense getting closer to a game-tying touchdown. It's first and 10. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. He's got it near the end zone. And he will score! Touchdown, Michigan! Chris, the timing between the quarterback and the receiver here is exceptional. Great route here to sell that post to the inside and then break it off to the corner. And the quarterback anticipates it well, puts it on the money for that touchdown. And they get set now to try the PAT. And the PAT is up and good, and we are all tied here in the final quarter. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And Turner looking to make a play here. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. Now begin with a quick throw to the left. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. 
This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Here's the handoff. Stop at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. Chris, the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then accelerate through it for a nice game. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? Second down after that previous play. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. The junior able to bring him down quickly. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Back to pass, it's Moss. The pocket breaking down. Able to throw it away, he felt the heavy pressure, took a hit, but got rid of the football. And the Trojans will line up to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Morgan. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. The gain is four, so it's second and six. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Now it's second down here. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. He's got it for a big game. The tackle is finally made, but a huge game. He'll spot the ball near midfield at the plus 49. Well, it's a big risk to play man-to-man -man coverage by this defense, and this time they get caught. Great timing between the quarterback and his receiver. You can see what can happen when that timing is right. Big things can happen. Single back takes the handoff. And that run produces a decent gain. The game makes it second and medium. He'll hand it off. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. So an important third down play coming up. A field goal try here would be from 60. Looking downfield, it's Warren. This throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. Oof, the risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down, but what will be the play call? And the Wolverines will line up to punt it away. He's on to boot it away now. And the punt head's out of bounds, taking the dangerous returner out of play here. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Well, they test the middle there, but get nothing. It was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Second down play coming up.
Back now goes in motion. The defense will have to adjust. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. Tackle made after a big game. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And he dumps it off to the tight end. That's the tight end flexed out into the slot, looking for a matchup there, Kirk. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for his safety. And he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that and be able to pick up nice big gains like this. That completion makes it second and medium. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Need to pick up something here in third down. A field goal try here would be from 58. Can he make it to the marker? The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. And the Trojans are looking to keep this drive going. On first and ten, looking to throw. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break, but that ball's not intercepted. So, second down after the incompletion. Back to throw. It's Moss. It's a quick grab. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Oh, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. One back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. What right down to the 22. It's a first down, very near the red zone now. Timeout called by the defense. They'll go to the sideline and try to adjust. That's their first timeout. And the Trojans starting a new series here on first and ten. And he's got it again. And he stopped after gaining four yards. So second and six. And now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now the defense decides to spend a timeout to regroup a bit. Things just appeared to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, here we are now on fourth down, Chris. And at this point in the game, a field goal gives you the lead. I don't think you roll the dice. I think you kick the field goal, you take the lead, and then you rely on your defense to be able to win this game. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. He knocks this one right through. And the sideline celebrates. They've taken the lead here in the final minute. How about that? Clutch kick here for the kicker. Gives him the lead. But remember, there's still time up on the clock. This game is not over just yet.
So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Bringing it out, it's Morgan. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They've got some time to work with. Do they go for a touchdown here or play it more conservatively and set up for a field goal try? And he's got his man open downfield. And it's good for a first down with a 36. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. And that's a great example that he's up to. And now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. We come up and quickly spike it, stopping the clock. We've got to get points quickly here, looking for explosive plays right now. Looking to pass, it's Warren. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game and a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you could go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with a first down. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You'd wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. Here we are late in a one-score game, and they're going to go for it on fourth down. Looking to throw for the first down. Final minutes here. They'll throw it deep downfield. And it falls incomplete, the final play of the game as time runs out. 